Hi, this is Don Nelson, editor of the Added Report, and I'm at Fabtech 2019. I'm at the Form Labs booth, and we're going to talk with Kathy Bui about a couple of things, a couple of new products, one of which is the draft resin. What, what can you tell us about that, Kathy? Um, so this is our brand new resin that we launched earlier this year alongside with the uh, the Form 3. Um, it's our fastest printing resin yet. It prints three or four times faster than all of our other resins. Um, it is meant for quick prototyping because we understand that time is very valuable. So you can iterate very quickly, do multiple iterations in the same day. Um, here is an example of how OXO did that. Um, so OXO iterated uh, on multiple versions of this in the same day and then moved on to you know, a more high functioning materials like the tough and then finally assembled with um, uh, our soft flexible resin with our black resin to make the final prototype that looks and works like the final product. Yeah. Right. You also came out with uh, a couple of new printers, right? Yes, that's correct. And those are around the corner? Yes. Go ahead. So we've got uh, the Form 3 and the Form 3L, correct? Yes, that's correct. All right, yeah. well, why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, so our new Form 3 and 3L uh, feature our latest technology called uh, Low Force Stereolithography, or LFS for short. Um, this enables us to print with much higher accuracy, better uh, surface finish, and uh, much more reliably. So that actually allows us to scale, not in a figurative way, but also in a more um, literal way. So it enabled us to make a much bigger version of our printer, um, which resulted in, in the 3L that you have here. Okay. So, oh, sorry, yes, no. I'm sorry. Um, so the main difference between the two and the three is um, the flexible tanks uh, that comes in the, in the Form 3, uh, which is the main part of our L LFS technology. So our tank pops out, and the bottom of the tank is actually a film that flexes um, as you print, which is why it gives you that um, that low force peel. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, one thing that I find interesting about Form Labs is that you manufacture equipment, but you also make parts. Right. What, you know, what is the advantage of being a supplier and a user? Uh, yeah. So. The advantage of actually being a supplier and a user is that we see both sides of the equation. Um, we understand how users interact, what users want out of our system, and that informs the, um, the product decisions and the engineering decisions that we make. So our entire ecosystem is very much plug and play because we understand that for professionals, um, this is a very valuable uh, asset to have, which is time. So we want to be able to have the most simple user experience as possible. So you just put in your cartridge, you hit play, and then you walk back and you have your part. Um, so that's kind of the uh, the advantage of you know understanding the user side of it as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about someone that uh, they're they're contemplating buying a 3D printer or co to continue to outsource it? When when would you know as a that you should bring 3D printing in? Right. Um, yeah, so in some instances it makes sense to outsource um, if you're not familiar with designing or how to use um, uh, CAD, computer-aided design, um, to make your own parts or if you need you know, consulting help to refine your design, then outsourcing it will make sense. Um, however, if you're familiar with design concepts and can make your own CAD um, files and things like that um, and want to iterate quickly, um, bringing in 3D printing in-house would make a lot more sense, especially at the lower access point, such as a Formlabs machine that allows for such you know, a wide range of applications. Um, bringing it in-house allows for you know, a tighter feedback loop and having people feel the part immediately as it comes out um, really speeds up your, your design workflow. Yeah. Last question. We're here at Fabtech, and we're surrounded by people that are involved more with conventional type of manufacturing. You're involved in additive manufacturing. Mm -hmm. If you could tell these people mm -hmm. uh, what, one thing they should know about additive, what, what, what would it be? Um, I would say that additive is not something to be scared of. It's definitely something that will work alongside with your traditional workflow. Um, a lot of our users in manufacturing actually use our um, technology to make one-off jigs and fixtures that goes alongside you know, their water jet cutters or their drills, um, drill press and things like that. So it's a, it's a complementary type of technology and it's not you know, something that, that is out there. Yeah. It's very accessible now. All right. Thanks very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.